Hey there, everyone. Today, we're going to be talking about making professional business emails, and we're going to be doing it with Hostinger because it's a lot easier to do. So what's the difference actually between a work email and a regular one? Well, apart from the obvious, like ones for work and the others for everything else, there's more to it. To get a business email, you usually need your own website domain, which often isn't free unless you're with a host like Hostinger. With Hostinger, when you sign up for their hosting, you also get a free business email and can make up to 100 email addresses. Pretty sweet, right? And if you use our code SiteStarters along with other deals in the description, you're getting a great bargain. If you want to know more about Hostinger's plans and setting up your own domain, I've linked some helpful videos below. But as for now, let's dive into creating our business email. To make your hosting your business email, you just go to the top of the page where it says emails. And then afterwards, you're going to see all of your domains. From here, go to the right hand side and click on the manage button. And afterwards, you're going to see the create email account option. So you click on that as well. And the first step is to make your email name. And the second is to make your password. Then you hit create and you're effectively done with the process. You can also make an email client, which organizes all of your emails into one, but that takes quite a few more steps. So we're not going to focus on that right now, but I will make a video on that later. But for now, we're just going to skip this process. Now, there are three other things I want you to take into consideration. So there's the forwarders, email alias and automatic reply. Now, what a forwarder does in very similar to what it usually does is takes the emails from your business account and sends it to another one, such as a personal account or one that you have more access to when you're not using your business email. So to set this up, you just click on create a forwarder take the email you want your emails to be sent from, and then choose an email address you want it to be sent to, click on create, and that's pretty much all that there is to it. Now, the feature to the right of this, the catch-all email is very interesting because if someone misspells your email address, the catch-all email will realize that and then file it under the correct one. So all you have to do is click on create catch-all and select which email you want these to be sent to. Again, the one that we just made, create it. And in case someone spells it email sisa with two S's, it's going to realize, okay, this is the one that it's supposed to go to. And then you're going to get that email. So very, very handy. And the next thing on our list is the email alias, which you can set up by clicking on this side. Now, when an email alias is, is an alternative email address, that forwards messages to a primary email box. So you click on create alias, you select the email you want, and then the email alias that you want for that particular inbox. So you're still going to get emails to this testing dude at do thing guy dot online, but it won't be sent to your primary email address. So people will send it to the alternate one, not knowing that they're actually sending it to this one. So that's essentially how that works. And the last thing that we need to touch upon is the automatic replies. And what this is, is a preset response to someone that sends you an email when you're not actually using your business account. So to set this up, you click on create automatic reply. You choose the start date and end date for when you're not going to be available. For example, you're on vacation or something and the message you type in here is the message the sender is going to get once they send it to you and there you go that's pretty much all there really is to it it's very simplistic and we've covered everything we really need to know when it comes to email accounts with hosting or and business accounts in general now you know what you need to do you can create your forwarder your alias and your automatic reply and get the most out of your email address of course there's more things that you can keep track of but that is the core basics and that's that's all there is to it, folks. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you have any questions, drop them down below and I will get back to you. And if you want to try out Hostinger, don't forget to use our code SITESTARTERS for a 10% discount and other cool deals. So thanks for watching and until next time, take care.